So today, Ridge and I are going to be installing brake lines on this V8 rebuild that we're doing. And we're about to do all the bending. We've already fitted the brake discs, the backing plates, and the calipers. So once we've done the bending and some measurements, we're going to cut the pipe and then we're going to go and fit the nuts. So we're going to flare the pipe and after that we can then fit the pipe to the calipers and build the system. The first task of the day is to remove the old T that's attached to the bracket on the rear axle and we're going to just straighten the bracket out and then install a new T with a new flexible hose that will join the steel pipe that runs to the front of the vehicle. Perfect. Mm. Yeah, boom. Beautiful tool. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Do a small bend here. And this one we're bending up. Perfect fit. Yeah, boy. Okay, so today we installed the brake lines onto the vehicle and connected them to all the wheel cylinders. And so there we go, as we see, we've done all, all, the, all the nuts and flares. And to there. Okay, so this is the right side of the vehicle, coming to the T junction that takes the fluid from the master cylinder in the front to the back brakes and splits it at the T. Okay, going forward along the right hand side of the ladder frame chassis, under the firewall, and then the right hand, left hand side of the vehicle, front wheel cylinder, through the flexi hose, into the steel brake bundy. We move along 
to the front of the chassis, around the corner, to the right hand side wheel cylinder. up through the flexible hose and up to the and up to the master cylinder from there